Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue work on our our base here. Uh, so the plan for today is to get the walls of the main hall in, and depending upon how that goes, um, we might go ahead and get started working on the wharf as well. So things are coming along pretty good. Uh, I did a live stream on Saturday afternoon, had a good time. Lots, lots of you guys showed up and really appreciate that. And essentially what we did uh, during that live stream is we built this little kind of half tower structure uh, on the end of the Great Hall. Um, so I still have more work to do up here. I need to I need to get a roof on this because, you know, this isn't technically considered a roof by the game. Uh, so we have to do that. And um, I'm, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do uh, for sleeping quarters. Now, one idea I'm toying with is to have um, maybe another structure on this end of the building, kind of above the wharf, looking out over the water, um, and maybe making that like a, a, a master bedroom kind of idea. But I haven't fully fleshed that out yet. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see, you know, uh, how that comes together. Um, so I'm going to, uh, but for now, let's go ahead and get the, the main walls of the hall taken care of and we're gonna put some doors and some other things up like that so let's grab some wood whoops i did not mean to do that i've actually been playing around a little bit with some osiris new dawn or, or with osiris new dawn uh if you guys aren't familiar with that it's a space survival game i've uh, been out for several years the last time i played it was I don't know, about two and a half or three years or so ago and it's a game that i've i actually really like the game it has a lot of potential, but the last time that I played it, uh, there just wasn't enough content in it to keep, you know, to keep my interest for a long period of time. Uh, but they have since come out with some updates with it. So I was just messing around with it a little bit and considering whether or not I might want to do uh, some YouTube videos on it. Uh, it's 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 still kind of buggy. Um, and, and if you guys <laughs> are familiar with the game, uh, pun was not intended there. I mean, there, literally, there are things about the game that aren't working correctly. Uh, that they need to fix so i haven't decided yet for sure if i'm going to do that on youtube or not i'm still just kind of you know playing around with it anyway all of that to say in osiris the f key is the action key and so uh, that's why i just pressed f on accident and activated bone mass when i didn't mean to do so um yeah that, <laughs> that was a very long uh diatribe on uh, what uh, on why i pressed the f key oh my goodness okay Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with some building here. So um, what we're going to do is uh, just start kind of with normal walls. Oh, did I not? Oh, yeah, I pressed the F key when I was trying to press E to get some wood out of here. That's what happened. Okay, so let's just grab several stacks of wood there. And um, so uh, press F5. I have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Now, I'm going to put um big doors here like so um and then this will just be wall is that the right snapping i think so and then these are just going to go all the way up to the top and we might end up having to do something a little different uh with this yeah, see that doesn't look good. So let's let's remove that beam there. That doesn't need to be there now. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say this this has been misplaced. There we go. Because I was wondering why in the heck is there a big gap there? Okay, let's put these up here. And I guess we don't need a big wall. I guess we need a half wall up there. Let's get up there on a ladder just to make sure we can make sure we're doing the right thing up there since it's kind of hard to see from down here. Okay. So yeah, this only requires a half wall. Now what if, though, just for funsies, what would it look like if we... Did something like this, just so we have like a little, you know, kind of trim pieces in there. Try 
trying to get it to fit a certain way. It's not quite behaving. Okay, here, let's pull that back out. There. That's what I want to see happen there. Now, can we get this to... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of neat. Just adds a little... Like a little trim, if you will, to the to the build here. Um. Yeah, I think I think I like that. Now I want I want these walls to just be normal walls because I'm planning on hanging heads uh, and stuff on it. So that sounds kind of morbid, uh, hanging heads on it. Now what do we do about this situation? Um. I think. that we can um, well not really sure what we do with that if we put a half wall up here it's gonna stick out what if we put it like that Can we get it to... No, I don't like that. Okay, let, let's put a, a normal sized wall there. Now, the problem, of course, is that it's going to stick out. Unless... Wait a minute, though. Unless we do that deliberately, because I've considered, you know, leaving this kind of square opening on this building, so we could maybe do that over here, too, and get away with it. Okay, so... Let's let's play with that idea a little bit. So if we're going to do that, um, we don't want, probably not those either, but let's remove these for sure. Can I hop up there and grab that? Yeah, okay. So yeah, if we take this and pop it up there, Pop that up there, and then just do a wall across here, and uh, let's remove these beams. This might actually work out pretty good. That looks good. I like that. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to put uh, a couple of gate doors in. And then these will be uh, normal walls. And these will be half walls. Okay, I like it. I think it works. And it it kind of hides some of the jankiness from, you know, how I had to do uh, the roof, too. Um, I couldn't, you know, there wasn't a piece that fit perfectly for how I had the roof set up in there. So, um, I mean, we can still kind of see uh, here a little bit, but that's all right. As long as it looks good from the Great Hall, that's the more important thing, I think, to me. Oh, almost got it. Let's <laughs> see if we can grab it again. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Got it. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now, one thing that, um, that I had to change with this roof over here is I had to change the shape of the roof. Um, so it's, it's, it's a different arrangement, uh, or a different shape, I guess is what I'm trying to say from the other side of the building. Uh, and the reason I did it that way is so I could get this piece to fit in here. Cause it wasn't, wasn't looking good. 
Um, so, so it looks pretty good, you know, from out here with this shape. So I guess I'm just trying to decide if I want to also then switch this side over to match. So, so they both match. Now they don't necessarily have to both match. Um, one thing we could do is let's go, let's go out here. Okay, and you know, as we're looking at it, you know, I don't, I don't mind that actually. To be honest, it gives it gives the place a little bit of extra character because it's not exactly the same on both sides. So it's asymmetrical, but not necessarily at all in a bad way. One thing we could maybe consider doing is opening up the kitchen. Uh, in the same way that we did the crafting room for ventilation. But then again, um, you know, having it be different is not necessarily a bad thing. So we, I, I think for the time being, I'm just going to leave this the way that it is. Uh, one thing I am going to do, though, is let's, um, let's remove all of this stuff. Well, we're going to need to remove the beams anyways. And we'll just put a 26 roof back here. Like so. Okay. Yeah, I, I think uh I think I talked myself into it. <laughs> We're gonna leave it the way it is. Um one there is one difference though on from this side from the other side, and that is that I have uh, wait, do I have an extra Eve on this side than the other? Maybe I don't. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. So I'm going to have to get that uh, figured out too. And because of that, hmm, that might mean we do have to change the roof in here. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do the same you know build the same wall out there as i built in here now we could put probably put some stone stairs out there we if we do wood stairs we're gonna you know they're gonna get damaged by the weather uh, so let's move this out to here or maybe more in the middle-ish i guess and we'll grab some stone real quick yeah i like the way this turned out this actually looks really nice I'm wondering too, what would it look like if we just put a, if we put that in two, mostly to try and re, you know, try and remove, break up the, the kind of boring square shape. That's why I would do that. Uh, I don't know though. I don't know if I like that. Too bad we didn't have a triangular, you know, piece that we could use. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced. I like that actually. Let's take it back out. We could. What we could do though is we could put some trim pieces along here uh, to make that look better. Um, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here as usual. Let's grab some stone. And we're going to go out here. And we're going to put stone stairs right there. Nice. And we'll do this on, you know, on all sides too. See, I hit the F key again there. Okay, this might be a little interesting. Um, hmm. I think I have a solution for this, though. What we're going to do here is we're going to put, like, a little... Uh, porch kind of idea, I guess. And then we'll put the stairs like so. Can we also... Do that. Yeah, 
That works. You know, in fact, I like that so much. Why don't we also do that over here? Oh, out of stone. There we go. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So, I'm going to... Oh, you know what? While it's still dark, um, and before we work on that other side, why don't we make the hanging uh, brazier and put it up in the hall and see how well it lights things up. All right, so what do we need for that? We need five bronze, a chain, and two coal. All right, that should not be a problem. Grab two coal here. I'm going to uh, put this stone back in here for now. We want five bronze. And I think it just said one chain, right? Okay, so let's hang this from the center. Uh, it's not really snapping very well, is it? Or is it? Save game. All right, we're going to need to uh, get up on a ladder to make sure we set this in the middle. So we use coal to fuel that instead of resin. Interesting. All right. Um, let's take this down. I guess I could have just taken the bottom piece down, but whatever. Okay. So just one of those doesn't provide a whole lot of light, especially if we turn our head headlamp off. I mean, it does provide some. So... The one thing I like about it is it's pretty high up, so that means we can probably hang one from each one of these sections here, and it's not going to obstruct our view when we're, when we're sitting in our throne here. So if we, if we put one on all points, so that means we need to make four more, that might provide a decent amount of light. Now, we can also put wall sconces up, too, which we probably will, and or... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, the floor, you know, the floor things, the iron floor thing, like this one we put up here, provides a lot of light. Okay, we're going to need f uh, four more, which means we need to make more bronze. So let's grab some copper and some tin. And we'll make some bronze here. Okay, that gave us... We need to make five more bronze. Okay, so we're, we need a little more copper. Okay, so that gives us all of the uh, bronze that we need. Now, uh, we need four more chains... Most of those we got from the crypts, and we need coal. I'm just going to grab all of this coal. Oh, carrying too much. Darn it. 
Uh, we don't need to carry that much wood with us right at the moment. Let's cut that in half. Need a little bit of wood so I can make the ladders. Well, actually, you know what? Let's let's actually try and eyeball this. I guess that's not as hard as I thought it was. Okay. I think that does a decent job of lighting up the central part of the hall. And then if we put wall sconces on the walls and or on the posts, then yeah, that should brighten things up in here nicely. I'm liking it, you guys. I'm liking it. It's looking good. Cool. Okay. I didn't show you guys this either, but if you, in case you didn't um, see the the live stream. Our portal room is underneath the throne room. It's a little tight getting in here, though. Um, but this is the portal room. So what we're going to do is have four portals in here. But there is room to put some up against these walls if we decide we need them later. And then we have a gate that leads out uh, to the back of the little keep here. Which is pretty neat. Okay. So yeah, things are a little, little bit snug getting through here. But I had to put these stone pillars up in order to support the the stairs. I wonder if I could put um, I wonder if I could put like core wood instead just to give us a little bit more room because it is super tight coming through there. Uh, let's mess with that a little bit. One thing to keep in mind is here I did it again. Damn it. <laughs> um, one thing to keep in mind is that I'm probably going to be doing stuff like this all the time. I'll, I'll see something, I'll say, you know what? I want to change this up. So, you know, it's kind of a fluid situation, I guess. Uh, let's put this back in here. So things will change as we go along until we get it the way we want it. Okay, so if I pop this pillar out, yeah, these are gonna these are gonna collapse. So we might as well just pull them up right now. All right, now, what I want to try is let's grab a core wood. Uh, we need a short core wood. Can we get away with putting it on the corner? Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's try it and see what happens. We have to snap it to the top of the stairs here. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to... Oh. Yeah, okay. It worked. Nice. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more elbow room coming in through here. I mean, it's still pretty tight, but not as tight as it was before. All right, cool. Um... What if we, just for funsies, also uh, wanted to kind of line this Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Nah, I'm not I'm not digging that. What if we try a square a square beam? Yeah, that, that's a little better. I think. It might even look better if we also do this. I was thinking about putting rails on here anyway. We need it to snap to this end here. Oops. Yeah, 
don't like that. And then if we did want to do rails, because after all, we don't want anybody falling down when they're coming before the king, right? That wouldn't uh, that wouldn't look good. All right, and then we just rail down like so. Looks like we need more wood. Looking good, man. Looking good. I might put a couple of floor torches up here, too, on either side of the throne. Um, I'm also planning on hanging banners along the wall and the five boss heads up higher. Okay, I'm liking it. All right, I'm going to go to bed. When I get up in the morning, I'm going to finish the wall on this side and decide uh, what to do about the roof intersection. And when I'm finished with that, I'll bring you guys back and we'll start taking a look at uh, working on the wharf. So be back in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I uh, finished the wall on uh, this side of the house, too. And I decided to leave the roof the way it was. Now, we do have these two pieces sticking through here. But unless I decided, you know, to change the whole roof, which I really kind of don't want to do. Uh, because, A, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to go to the extra work to do it. Um, and B, uh, I'd like to keep this building a little bit different configuration. Uh, just, you know, so we have kind of that asymmetrical artistic feel to things. The problem is that I'm that this, you know, I, I need to intersect a 45 degree roof. Um, no, a 26 degree roof with a 45 degree roof. And there isn't a piece to do that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I, I mean, it looks fine from out here. It looks great from out here. So I think what I'm going to do is just live with it, you know, with those two pieces kind of sticking out inside the kitchen and just not worry about it um, at this point. Unless I can come up with some other way to, you know, maybe hide those or make them less obvious. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but for now, I think we're, gonna, we're just going to live with it. Okay, so coming along. We are coming along here very nicely. Um, the next major part of this build now is going to be the wharf um, so the general idea is that we build a stair a stair system down to the water and then have a nice little wharf you know sticking out into the water that's covered um, that we can you know pull the ships alongside so one side will be for the long ship the other side will be for the carve and the raft if I decide to make one just for the hell of it um, so that is the next thing on the agenda for this build. Um, I have a lot of trim work that I would like to do. I even considered possibly turning all of these walls the other way around so the cross beams aren't showing in the hall. And I might still do that. I haven't really decided yet about that. The only thing about doing that, though, is it's, it's going to kind of look weird on the outside if I do that, I think. I think it definitely looks better on the exterior if we just leave it the way it is. So we probably will end up doing that. Um, it looks really pretty good. Oh, and I also decided to put windows in uh, at each of the four doors, too, as you can see there. So, Okay, so the dock. Um, how do we want to do this? <clears throat> I've uh, What I'm thinking is... I'd like to maybe have a wooden, you know, like a boardwalk that goes out one or two tiles first. And uh, maybe extend the roof out one or two tiles more to kind of cover it. Though it's that's so high up, it's probably not going to protect it from the rain if the rain's coming from, you know, the in, inward direction. But I think that's what we'll start with and then kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and grab some flooring pieces. And I think we'll have the boards pointing that direction. 
and uh, we'll get this out here. So yeah, I'm thinking too, too wide for the boardwalk. Now what's the structural on this? Okay, so it's green because coming off the stone here, it's it stays blue. So that's great because it gives us lots of um, lots of strength there. We're still going to put some some pillars or some beams in anyways, just because you would do that in real life, and I think it'll look nice. And then we could even have this wrap around this way. And of course, you know, we'll put railings and all that up too. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Come over here. All right. Even that piece is still green too. Very good. Okay. So now we're going to have probably either a single or a triple stairway going down. Um, just so that it lines up with the blocks uh, of the tiles here. Well, actually, though, um, yeah, right. So let's start with, um, here, let's get some core wood. I, I really like to use core wood. It's just, I don't know, it looks good. I like the rounded look to it. Uh, so let's grab a stack of core wood. And what we're going to do is come out here. I think we I think we pr will probably extend the roof out too. Let's jump down here. And uh, it's relatively shallow. Here, we might as well grab this while we're here. Um, here because, you know, I dug all of this out. The original shore came out to about here. Uh, but it's not super deep, so... Which is going to help us, you know, and when we start getting out there, it's going to get a little trickier, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to put core wood beams on the corners. And then, um, can I stand here? Yeah. Can we get a shorty in there? And is it touching the ground? Yes, it is, because it's blue. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other corner. And then we'll kind of center out the, the middle. Can we stand here? Okay, there we go. All right, we'll put another long one on the corner here, if we can... Oh, we lost our footing. Here, let's get in the ship, actually. That might make this a little easier. All right, we're gonna have to go back down to get... Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, is that blue? It is, cool. Okay, so that's touching. All right, now let's go back up onto the dock itself. So pick up these resources that are down here. And if we're going to... What we could do is do a triple stairway and a triple wide um, wharf. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea. So that means then that I want to put beams. Um, let's grab the long ones. And actually, too, let's, before we do that, let's build out just a little bit here so we can stand out here. This is just temporary. All right. Now, I want the 
long poles to go. Yeah, you're not gonna let us do this, are you? Stupid game. Because we can't build down. Ah, okay. Let's just do it from here then. Uh, oh yeah, right. That's where we need to. Oh, no. Not that. Goodness. I want you to snap right there. There you go. And then we'll put a shorty underneath. doesn't quite want to behave. I mean, we can, if we have to, we can just clip it in. Okay, well, no, that doesn't look good. I don't like it. We need to get down low enough to get it to snap in place, but it's not letting us do it. All right, well, if we're going to eyeball it, I want... Uh, I'll try it one more time. I guess it doesn't matter that much because it's not going to really be visible. It's all going to be covered up. The important thing is that we get the SI right. I keep floating up. Uh all right, well, we're going to have to make that work because I hear again, it's probably... <sighs> Let me try it one more time. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, if we're going to... If it's visible, it's going to be visible kind of from the sides and the front, so... As long as the lip of it sticking out in behind, I think we can live with that. Okay, so let's see if we can do the same thing here. Uh, we want to... What? We're floating. I mean, it, it, I could... I, the other thing I could do is just build up the frickin', uh You know, ground a little bit so I can stand, but I don't think... I don't think we need to do that yet unless I... Really start getting frustrated here with all this. There, see, that one snapped. Maybe it's just because the ground wasn't low enough here. Do I have my hoe with me? I do. Let's try this one more time. Um. Well. No, we don't need the hoe, we need the pick. Okay, so can I... Lower the ground a little more there. Okay. There we go. That was the answer all along. <laughs> okay, good. Why does that look... Huh. It looked like it was way offset for a minute there, but now it looks fine, so... Okay. Perfect. Now, I think what we should also do... Not necessarily because we need to, because but because I think it'll look right... Is put a, a, one more beam in between because we're also going to create well no we're not going to do that after all let's just play with this for a second i don't know if this is going to look right or not see we're not going to be able to get it we're going to have to put it right in the center of this board and we're going to have to eyeball it to get that to work so why don't we try this It still, still looks off. I think it's just the surface of the water, how it kind of warps things. Okay, now can we get an upright here? Yeah, there we go. That lined it up for us. Good. And then can we get a shorty underneath? Yep. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the same thing all the way across. Now 
at that side and come over here. And then put an upright in the center. Let's see if we can do this from on the boat so I can see what I'm doing. You know, I don't know. I'm not so convinced that we got that other one centered after all. It's got to go right in the middle of this board here. Let's let's go look at that. Cuz I'm not so sure that we did that right. Yeah. I don't know, it looks pretty damn good actually. It's not it's not perfect, but I think we're going to go with it. It's not perfect, but yeah, I think we're going to go with it. Okay. Let's get a sh see if we can get a shorty under here. Oh, yep, right there. And that's blue. That one's blue. Perfect. All right, I'm liking it, man. It's coming along good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Right, let's hop back up top side here. Dock side. Top side on the dock side. Alright. Now we're going to bring a stair. A triple wide stair. Down to the surface of the water. Probably. Can we do it this way? I don't think it's going to let us. That's probably red, or going to turn red. Is it going to stay there? Yeah, barely. <laughs> uh, okay, wood stair. There, and one there. Okay, those are red too, but that's okay, because we're going to have supports for it down there. thinking we might need to go down one more stair. Yeah, we're going to need to go down one more. But we also need some supports here now. So what I think we're going to do is temporarily put in... that there and that there these aren't going to stay here they're just there for temporarily um, okay now uh, can we get out here far enough to put one more stair down this way and same thing on this side Okay, now how close are we to the surface? Probably... Oh yeah, the tips of the stairs are actually touching the water, I think. Here, let's just jump down. Oh yeah, that's perfect, man. That is perfecto. So, you know, when it's calm out, the, uh, the water will be just right. And the other good thing about this, too, is, you know, um, the water starts getting deep right at this point, too, which is exactly what we want, you know, so we have room for the boats. The keel of the boats. Okay, now, can we, um, 
Why don't we see if we can put a post in the corner? It's going to. Uh, we might need to get back up on the stairs for this. Let's turn this this way. This is just temporary. Alright. Now, I want to try and get a post right on this corner. Ah. Uh, Okay, now we're going to have the fun of fighting the doggone water. Because as soon as we touch that, it's going to want to come up. Alright, what if we get down here? Okay, that works a little better because we're a little lower now than the stairs. In fact, that even snapped. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let's take that out. Can we get the same thing from the boat? Alright, it's a little deeper here. So what we might have to do is... Um, oh, oh, no, don't jump out. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. Yeah. Could try and raise the ground, I guess. Um, or we could just try and eyeball it and see. I mean, that's not terrible. No, it's, it's off a little bit. Okay, what if we... What if we do this? Pull that back up. Let's get back on this ship here. Okay. Now, can we eyeball a tall one? Right about there. Okay, it's positioned right, but it's not the same height as that one. Can we finagle this a little bit to get that to be the right height? In other words, can we clip it in there a little bit? Oops. Uh, it's not going to want to behave. Shift doesn't let me go down with it. Hmm. All right, let's try this the other way around here. Let's do a cross piece over to here. Can we get an upright to sink into the ground and match? <laughs> I think the only way we're going to accomplish that is if I try and pick this down a little more, but I don't know if I can. Um, or try and raise it up. Yeah. Let's. What would, whoops. What happens if we just do this? Okay. Now, let's grab a shorty. I think that was what we wanted to do. Okay, good. Now they're at the same height. Or close, close enough to it to where we're good with it. Ah, that was kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so... Now, I think what I want to do is I want to put a... Can we stand right here? Yep. 
I want to put a cross piece along here, like so. <clears throat> now, I don't know if I want the dock to be right at the surface of the water because then, you know, it's going to get covered up when, when, whenever we have waves and like severely covered up if there's like a storm. So I almost want to hold the, uh, oh, somebody's attacking the ship. Cut it out. I need some stamina. Was it that boar? boar? I guess so. Okay. Somebody else is attacking something else. Well, it can't possibly be anything in my yard because they have no way to get over here. So they're probably beating on something across the moat or in, down in the moat or whatever. So we don't really care. Oh, we need to we need some nutrition here. Let's get rid of this seed, man. We don't need this seed. Okay, so what I want to do is follow the moat. And actually, that's not true. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to probably go to sleep so these guys bugger off. Whoops. He didn't drop another seed, did he? Okay. So what I was saying was, I think we want to raise the dock up a little bit. Can we do that? Yes, if we put it there, <clears throat> it is like right on, well, is it right on the surface? Uh, yeah, see the water just covered it up and that's just even a gentle wave. So I want to raise this up higher, um, maybe to here even. That didn't snap, but it looked, visibly it looked like it was pretty well lined up. What the hell's going on down there? So this, you know, this raises it up above the water another, I don't know, foot or so, but not so high that we're not going to be able to get out of the boat when the time comes. Okay. Skeletons down there? It is. It's a group of skellies. Nighttime skellies. Come here, boys. I didn't know skeletons could swim. Well, they probably weren't swimming. They're just waiting. Hey, rude. Let's just punch him to death. <laughs> oh, I better watch out, man. My health's actually not that high right now. There we go. Okay, well... I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, guys, and um, we will uh, we'll pretty much probably just pick up right where we left off in the last episode. Well, actually, no. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wharf built out because, you know, there's, there's two ways we could do this. The easier way to do this is to make this dock long ways and then when we come in with the ship we just kind of pull right on in this way and then we can go out that way that way i'm not trying to ex extend it way the hell out into the deep water and then you know we could have like a side parking area on one side for the carve and another side parking area for the raft if we decide to make it just for the hell of it um so i think that's what we're probably going to do but the idea is 
where you know it's it's going to be covered uh coming down here we'll have like a little canopy well actually can we do that along a stairwell though yeah uh yeah i guess if we well i don't know i'm not sure how we would do that maybe this part won't be covered then i don't know i'll have to think about that but anyway uh the wharf itself uh, i think it's going to run long ways and then it'll be covered and then we just pull the ships in you know kind of parallel park essentially that way i don't have to fight trying to get a dock way out into that deep water because that is going to be a royal pain in the ass i think so i'm going to keep working on this you guys and when i bring you back in the next episode um we should be uh, i expect to at least have the dock itself uh built but i will bring you back for when we when we build the, the canopy over it when that's finished um we have to figure out what we're going to do on the front end here but i have an idea and that idea is to make kind of like a loft on this end of the building and, and making our bedroom up there um, but i haven't fully figured out how that's going to happen yet but that's kind of what i'm thinking because after the wharf is done the only other major thing we have to do with the build itself as far as the structures but and or the rooms is make a bedroom uh, we need to make a bedroom for ourselves and you know i don't want that to be out in the hall of course because the hall is like the public place right um so yeah that's kind of what's coming up not too much further guys we'll be done with these building episodes i hope you guys are enjoying them um the very first building episode was just released uh on youtube today <sighs> um so but you know it's just something i, I want to do and i want to get it, it done or at least get the structural part of it done before we take on the last boss and maybe we'll do that just to break things up and then we'll come back and do the deco stuff um after the last boss but not you know not, none of that's set in stone yet we'll just see how things go all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye